Hello, my name is Vernon John Ledger with the Right to Play and Ground Level Youth Center. Today, I'm going to share some grounding techniques. The first one is uses your tactile senses and your breathing, and it gives you a visual. The first one goes something like this. If you're ever in, feel like you need to calm down, it's really simple. Take your hand, take your finger, and you're going to go up and down like this. Except what you're going to do when you go like this is you're going to breathe in and breathe out. So you're going to breathe in, breathe out, breathe in, through your nose if you like, and breathe out through your mouth. In, out. you down quite a bit. Okay, now I'm going to show you a couple of exercises with rocks that you can do. This rock we're going to call the passion rock. And this rock is for putting your frustrations into. If you ever feel angry or frustrated and you don't really know how to deal, and you don't want to have these emotions overwhelming you, what you can do is grab the rock. This is an ancient um, teaching. This is a cultural teaching where you take the rock and you hold it and you focus your energy. Say something, you're mad about something. You hold it and you go. Put the energy into the rock. Just imagine. Use your imagination. Engage with the rock and imagine that your frustrations are going into the rock. You can squeeze the rock if you like. And then once you feel like you've put enough energy into the rock and you feel good, you can take that rock and you can put it in a safe place where you can always have access to it. This is anger rock. You don't want to carry it around with you. It's best to have a place for this one. And the second type of rock that we're going to have is called a gratitude rock. This one you might want to find a smoother rock and this one you want to carry around with you because when you have the rock in your pocket and you're just maybe you're feeling a little bit down you can grab this gratitude rock and think of something you're grateful for it could be running water it can be your mom and dad it can be a friend it can be something that happened yesterday or today or something that's going to happen that you're grateful for and just to have this little gratitude rock is a real big help in remembering that it's good to be grateful for things. Right, bonus content, if you take two white rocks, you kind of see through, and you squish them together like this, it makes a little sound like that. And if it's dark enough, you can see little sparks in them. You might not be able to see them here, but I'll fix the camera so we can. two regular white rocks and these white rocks are everywhere they all do it it's, so I encourage you to try this it, they say that when you witness this light it actually opens up new neural pathways because it's something you haven't seen before and um, I just wanted to share that for this thoughtful Thursday um, and I hope you all have a great Thursday Friday Saturday Sunday Monday Tuesday Wednesday Thursday again and have just enjoy thank you this has been Vernon John Ledger from the Ground Level Youth Center and Right to Play. Bye for now.